So huge thanks for joining myself. Huge thanks, Laura, as well. So I'm here at Ronald Fletcher Baker offices in, in London, and uh, it's focused this interview on the number eight, because it's eight years coming up, the anniversary on the 18th of April. I love the date as well, it's got an eight in there. So uh, I have to check to see what's uh, about Battersea as well, there may be an eight as well. But eight years is a significant time in terms of change for Ronald Fletcher Baker. You're an associate solicitor there um, in the litigation team. Yeah. And that's headed by Rudy, is mm -hmm. that right? Rudy and David. Yeah. And David. Mm -hmm. So let me just move the camera slightly mm -hmm. over. So I'm going to be out of picture just for the moment. So look, David said you're getting busier and busier in terms of litigation. It's yeah. one of so what's your typical case studies? What would people be asking for? Yeah, so um, like you say, we're getting really busy in terms of property litigation. Uh, we act for quite a lot of property investors, developers across anything that comes up in their portfolio. And it can so, be something as simple as, well, I say simple, it's wrong to use the word simple, but it could be land boundaries. Yeah, it could be to do with uh, boundaries, the property that's actually demised in their lease, any kind of questions as to uh, their obligations under the lease or the leases they've entered into with their tenants and uh, can also be dealing with when they've acquired a property they then want to develop that so what do we do to to assist them so do we need to get tenants out do we need to put together a plan for development um, anything like that so it's, it's quite varied yeah so you, you've been here for a number of years at Ronald Fletcher Baker but eight years ago you were studying um, law yes. <laughs> in Plymouth yeah so how has Ronald Fletcher Baker changed? I know the litigation department has grown um, and Ronald Fletcher Baker has grown as well. It was initially, I think, five partners mm -hmm. and it's now 11 partners. Yeah. Um, and it's also change of location as well, yeah. or added location spots as well. Yeah, so eight years has been, um, I suppose, a lot of growth for the firm. Uh, we've now got, like say, 11 partners up from, I think, originally it was five a good few years ago and three offices. We've got the two in London and also one in Manchester. So two in London, one here in the West End and one in Old okay, Street yeah. near the tech area. Yeah. Um, and then the other one in Manchester for the UK. And you've yeah. also got international representation. Yeah, we've got some links uh, with Turkey as well, do some, some work there. So it's um, really exciting times, lots of growth going on, yeah. So exciting times, although challenges for investors and landlords because of legal changes would you say one of the most significant changes in the last few years would be section 24 uh i think there's been a lot of changes uh for those involved in property over the last few years um and there's always something new every year i think something that's really um changing and has been changing over the last few years is probably this kind of move away from uh, encouraging people to buy and develop and rent and trying to get people into their own homes so possibly making it a little bit harder for uh, those people that want to obtain quite a big property portfolio of residential um, property. Sure so, so property investors may have to look at different strategies certainly yeah. compared to a few years ago. So Laura let me just swivel the camera around so huge thanks for joining myself whether you're joining myself live or at a later time. In terms of those who will be joining Laura um, on the 18th of April, as I say, the panel is chaired by Rob Wilkinson, co-founder of Crowd With Us. I have to add all the panelists, the chairs, the updates will be all between 18 to 35. You've got the likes of James Hempill from Dana Hempill, uh, based in Northamptonshire developer. You've got Sara Nasrallah, who's a very keen networker and investor as well, who specializes in marketing. I would say one of her you know, key strengths is marketing as well. Uh, you've got Ollie Lowry. So, uh, you know, I, I loved being with Ollie last week in Cannes. Um, so, huge thanks to Ollie. Interesting architectural practice, a young architectural practice whose strength is tech, is tech for their uh, investors. So look, that's on the 18th of April. I just want to say huge thanks to Laura. I just swivel the camera around again. So Laura, how can people connect with Ronald Fletcher Baker? What, what's the website? Uh, so it's rfblegal.co.uk uh, or on LinkedIn and you can get to us by there.
So, look, huge thanks for taking time out this afternoon. If I see you tonight at the Central London Evening Property Network, fantastic. That's on Thursday, 22nd of March. It's on a fourth Thursday, the Central London Evening Meet, sponsored by Warren Fletcher Baker Solicitors, Crowdfuss, Property Investor Accounts as well. So a number of different sponsors have come in to sponsor uh, my evening meets. Um, thank you, and thank you.